What's up mga kache? It's Kuya Dale here. I am back with another chemical engineering calculations lesson and it's also part of our Che tutorial, Che review series. So last time I left with um, Che calculations material balance with reaction. So now we will continue with um, some industrial, calcula uh, industrial stoichiometry calculations. So specifically I chose the hardest because um, it applies all what you have learned in gaseous uh, combustion and liquid combustion and solid combustion. So now we will um, continue with a solid combustion, specifically uh, combustions with coal. So before we go there, um, I'll just have a few shout outs. So kini sila nga mga tao na pa shout out gini sila sa koa. So shout out sa kung igagaw na si John Patrick Lopez or Patrick. Make sure to share this uh, share this video to your friends and. Please subscribe to my channel and also to my friend um, who is teaching at Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Maynila, uh, teacher Adi Albano. Hi, Ate Adi. Shout out sa'yo. <laughs> please, uh, please share this to your Kemeng students. Uh, I'm sure this will really help them in their uh, lessons. Okay? So... Without further ado, let's go now to our lesson. So, bituminous coal was a fired in a furnace containing a 9.8% uh, moisture, 31.7% VCM, and 5.95% ash. So, nitrogen and sulfur contents were found to be 1.99 and 1.17 respectively. So, the gross calorific value of the fuel was analyzed to be 23.18 megajoules per kilogram. So determine the carbon content of the coal sample, and then we are asked to find the calorific value of the VCM. And then what is the percentage of combined water in the VCM? Okay, now, so first you have to, uh, first, really first what you have to do is to draw the system so that you will not forget. Ba? So we have a furnace here. furnace and then we have a coal that's 9.8 uh, moisture so I'll just uh, I'm just gonna write all the givens here so now that's done already um, we have to have our basis so the most effective basis if uh, we are dealing with um, solid fuels and because these are so solid ba? What did I tell you if it is solid? You have to have a weight basis. But and these are also given in weight basis. So basis of 100 kilograms. So uh, coal. So um, what is really the, that's the first step of your calculation. The next step is to calculate for your carbon content, di ba? We are asked for the carbon content of our coal sample. So, no. Of our coal sample. So, first we have to use our Calderwood equation. That's really the first uh, equation that you will use. Calderwood equation. You will see later. And it's really long. And it's not found in your Paris. Okay, that's the Calderwood equation, and it's really long, right? So if you get the uh, percent carbon here, just uh, substitute the GCV here, twenty-three point eighteen. Substitute one point seventeen here, S, and substitute VCM here. 31.47 uh, 31, 31 and then substitute um, FC. FC. Uh, FC is get, uh, get um, obtained by the difference. Okay. So FC is really, so FC, percent FC. So, percent FC is equal to uh, minus, uh, 100 minus M minus VCM minus ash. 
nga. So, we'll just 100 dayon i uh, substitute the M here. Substitute substitute also the BCM, substitute also the ash. So you will get um, 52.78%. Then substitute that here, the FC, and then you will get the percent carbon as 57.34%. Okay, so now we have the first uh, answer. So let's just write that here. So now we are asked for the calorific value of the BCM. But before that, we have to calculate for the um, for the net H using the Dulong equation. Dulong equation is found in your Paris. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll put a one, uh, equation that's the Paris guys that's the Paris so this is the next equation that you have to use Dulong equation so if you substitute the GCV here this and we have now the percent carbon the 57.34 and then we are getting the net H and then substitute uh, 1.17 here for the sulfur and then our net H will be 2.56%. Okay, so just take note of that for now. So what I'm uh, trying to get here is that we have for our calculations to be easier, we have to tabulate all that we have uh, gotten. Okay, if you have to take uh, note of the answers, right? So I will um, delete them now. Diba, we have uh, three types of analysis sa coal. So we have a proximate analysis, we have ultimate analysis, and then mod the modified proximate analysis. Diba? So at the proximate analysis, we have uh, M, VCM, and then we have our FC and ASH. Then we have our ultimate analysis. The best way to, uh, the easiest way to memorize this, I memorize this as Chon's ASH. And we also have our modified. This is C, net H, combined water, then our moisture, then our N, S, ash. So as you can see, the uh, modified is all uh, almost complete now, right? So we have just have to get, because the, the total of this is 100. So to get the combined water, you just have to get the balance. Okay, so just uh, 100 and uh, minus the sum of this, you will get the combined water. You will get the combined water. It's uh, by difference, right, guys. Uh, by difference lang siya. So you will get this by difference or by balance. So to get your um, to get your H here in the ultimate analysis, you have to uh, get the total H. The total H lang. So we have our net H here, uh, 2.56 plus the 21.19 here because this has a uh, H also, di ba? I mean, H2O, H2O man ng water. And then, uh, Kaning i himo ni mo siyang kuan kining kuan mo ang labi taong kaning uh, molar mass ratio ba H2 man H2 man ni H2 so this is combined water so let me show you the kuan the uh conversion so that you will uh, you will understand and then I will be doing the shortcut later on. So, muna na siya. Then, plus your moisture, which is also water. So, same lagi po siya nga kuan, guys. Uh, tol, ang, ang, ang importante lang ani is kining 2 o 18 because uh, cancel naman eh. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So, plus the 9.8 here. So I'm just gonna get the 2 and 18 here. So that are 
calculations to be shorter. Then total H will be um, 6.00%. Huh? So we will put that here, 6.00% and then get the balance O. Just by difference, just like we did with combined water. It's uh, 27.55. Okay? So, I go, go through the lengths of those uh, uh, calculations that will that our life will be easier. Okay? So, let me just erase the lower part. So, now we have to find the calorific value of our VCM. Yeah? So calorific value of our VCM. So, uh, we have to find the volatile carbon. So, di ba, VCM, it's volatile combustible matter. So, we have to find the volatile for that. Koan, the part. So, VCM is actually, we have our VC, the volatile carbon, then net H. Then, we have our combined water. We have... Uh, so, these are the contents of our VCM. So, VC, VC. How do we get VC? Because we have now this, uh, we now have these, um, di ba? Na naman taani? Kini nga mga, kini nga mga weight, di ba? So, VCM. So, VC, VC is actually FC minus, oh, uh, C minus FC. So we have uh, 57.35 uh, minus 52.7. So get the difference. You will have... Uh, four point fifty six percent. So we have our weight here. So just multiply this by one hundred because one hundred by atom basis, di ba? So muna siya nga one hundred kilograms sa kung pili. It's that for our for our calculations will be easier. Okay. So we have four point fifty six here. So just uh, get the total of uh. Just get the total of uh, this uh, weight. Wa? It's uh, 31.47. And then just divide this by uh, the individual weights, by the total weight, so that you will get the uh, percentage. Ba? So we'll get, we are getting first the combined water, a VCM, because it's easier. We have the percent here. This the total is this is one hundred, and then you will get the percentage of our combined water in the VCM to be sixty-seven point thirty-three. This is for letter B. So to get the B, uh, the question letter B, CV of VCM. So up. Uh, Remember this formula. So CV of coal times 100 minus the CV of carbon, which is your fixed carbon. Fixed carbon, actually, fixed, fixed carbon. A times the CV of carbon times the Fixed carbon. So that's the formula. Over the percent VCM. So that's a calorie, the calorific value of the VCM. So we have the uh, CV of coal, which is 23.18 times 100 kilograms of our um basis and then we have a 33.8 then this is in megajoules per kilogram huh? 
all units are in uh, megajoules per kilogram. Kinetic 3.18 is megajoules per kilogram, and then 33.8 is megajoules per kilogram. And then multiply that by the FC, uh, 0.78, and then divide th that by the BCM, 31.47. And then you will get, because this is in, di ba, kung naman eh, this is in megajoules, okay, nawala naman ang kilogram, ana, megajoules, megajoules, nasa din siya, ay, megajoules, nasa din siya, and then this is in kilogram, so the unit now is in megajoules per kilogram, and then the answer is 16.97 megajoules per kilogram. Kilogram. So that's the calorific value of our VCM. So 16.97. So that's it. So that's the answer for the first question that uh, we are discussing. Okay. So if you don't get the uh, the if you don't get what uh, how I've solved it, just watch the video again and again that you will get it. The, I'm just teaching the te techniques here <clears throat> on how the, you will um, can be fast in your calculations, okay?